Okay, so um, I get questioned on how do you uh, how do you make a design on one side of the body and then easily get it to the other side. So I use a uh, R tape application tape for actually applying vinyl. Um, this one's number four zero seven five. It's got a, a lower tack, but it will stick to the the body without uh, messing up the the um, film coating the covering so if you see here um, i've actually already stuck it on there but uh, this i've driven drawn the design on half the body and i've peeled off a piece of this r tape and i've stuck it on here and you can see the you know the design right through the uh, tape and uh, what i do then is i trace it and then I'll, I'll actually mark um, some landmarks on the tape so that when I uh, move it over to the other side, I can easily align it. So uh, I don't have a amount for my camera, so I'm kind of doing this uh, by the seat of my pants. So just I'll, I'll do the drawing and then I'll, I'll be right back with you. Okay, I've traced uh, the design onto the application tape and uh, I've made some some body landmarks so I know so I can easily apply it you know on the other side here's the uh, fender molding and the, where the body ends and I've also put the uh, window in there uh, if you, the neat thing about our tape you notice these wrinkles back here um, when you're applying it if you create wrinkles if you're getting into current contours and stuff and you and you create these wrinkles and you push them in so that they the tape is essentially sticking on itself uh, those wrinkles won't pull out very easily so when you do peel this off and apply it on the other side um, it these wrinkles won't pull apart so it'll it should form um, pretty well to the other uh, to the underside of the body so let's uh, go ahead and do that like I said um, this material is is a uh, low tack so it should peel off without uh, um, Affecting the uh, um, cover coat, protective cover coat film. So I'm going to just gently pull this off. There we go. There's my stencil for the other side. Alright, so here I've moved the tape to the other side, uh, matched up the fenders and the cut line on the bottom and the window well and I'll be able to easily trace that design onto this side of the body. Um, you will discover that you know some bodies are not exactly symmetrical so um, I guess you know split the difference if this you know just try to it's kind of more of a guide to make it easier to transfer a design. Um, it, it doesn't have to be completely exact because uh, the end result they won't be able to tell it's going to look like you've got a symmetrical uh, paint scheme when you get to the you know like the front end I use the um, body mount posts as as a reference so I've got them uh, dotted and I have in some occasions measured like so on this body the the hood scoop is pretty distinct you could measure um, a couple places on the hood scoop to find the center point create a and then just you know draw a line draw a line down the center if you wanted to so that would help you line up your your tape and in some cases and it, you you know you might want to do it in sections maybe you just want to match up this get that right here and then you freehand this in because to match it up you know whatever um, it just I just find it easier um, for me personally to replicate a design on one side this one isn't that that intricate but if you had created a really extensive design on one side and then you're like huh, how am i going to get that over here this is a an easy quick way and uh, application art tape is pretty uh, pretty inexpensive um i got it from a sign shop but uh you probably can pick it up on on amazon apple tape number 4075 is one that i found to be kind of the best as far as how much tack uh Transparent C is is good, and it uh, works pretty good. So there you go. Um, hope that helps. Thanks.